Um, yes, I, these are things I learned uh, collecting secrets. I did do a research project in an art installation over a couple of years um, based on collecting other people's secrets and redistributing them. It was done in collaboration with Jessica Yurkowski, who is here today. So everybody think about something private in your digital life, in your text messages, emails, past or present. Do you have something? Yes, everybody does. This project was exploring that, the fact that we have these things that we are leaving traces of, um, but not necessarily thinking about the future that we're leaving them to. Uh, in survey research, we discovered that while people would be very keen to read the emails of their great-grandparents had they kept them, they were less inclined to want their great-grandchildren to read theirs. So we designed this installation uh, where you have a computer that asks you for a secret, and if you type one in and push enter, there's a little printer uh, that prints somebody else's secret in return, which you can then take with you. Uh, it's super simple, but it had some more elements. Uh, sometimes it was in a, a public, more um, brightly lit environment, like on the left. Sometimes it was in a, a dark, more private space, like on the right. Um, there was also sound and projection um, and some other like complicating of the algorithm that we did. Um, it showed, showed internationally, so in those cases it was adapted in um, different languages or you know, included different languages. So you see um, Berlin and, and Warsaw here. Um, <clears throat> and as a result, I learned a lot of things. So I'm going to give you just a very brief synopsis of what some of those things are today. And I love how it relates to all these other topics of misinformation and trust and sexting, everything. Um, secrets are weird and funny. Um, I don't mean this in a judgmental way, but rather in an endearing and appreciative way. Um, people are uh, complex and strange and often don't have an opportunity to share those things um, with others. Uh, people are extremely willing to share secrets um, in this format. Um, even after they realize, having received someone else's secret, that someone else is going to receive theirs, often people return to the installation enthusiastically to share more. <laughs> we can't know when a secret is true. Um, we may have an idea that some secrets seem more true, some secrets seem less true, but we can't really know, which brings up questions about our relationship to information online more broadly. We also make assumptions about other people's secrets, or rather the people who submit the secrets. For example, if you read a secret about a bully, you might be maybe more inclined to think it's from a male. Or if you read a secret about an eating disorder, you might think it's more likely to be from a female. Obviously, this is not always the case. I'm going to give you a little sample of the audio secrets. I killed a bunny when I was seven. I have a crush on my boss. I keep LSD in my philosophy book. I can pick pockets. I enjoy it. I've lied about my identity my whole My life. friend microwaved her hamster and it died. I think <laughs> Bernie Sanders is handsome. <laughs> um, secrets, uh, secrets are also very common. Um, not surprisingly, infidelity is among the highest frequency. There's many others. Um, and yet, secrets um, also can make us feel more connected and bring out our humanness. Technologies so often make us feel kind of dis disembodied and disconnected. But there's something about the sharing and the anonymity um, that we should think about um, as we bring more technology into our lives. They also make people happy, uh, even the dark ones. Um, and I think that it's probably because when you realize that everybody is fucked up and not just you are fucked up, uh, it kind of makes you feel better. Um, we also tell ourselves stories about what the machines are doing. Um, there's, we, anecdotally, we heard theories about why you were, people were receiving certain secrets or what was happening with the remote printers and why they got a certain sequence. And this is our uh, inclination, is to connect the dots with technologies. Um, but it's useful to shine a light on that inclination itself. Anonymity and intimacy can lead to connection and compassion. Um, usually, we don't have anonymity and intimacy at the same time. And this is something that can be really valuable, because um, you don't know who the secrets belong to. And lastly, fragments misrepresent. Obviously, if we think about our corpuses of our online data, that, that's not who we are. That's just one kind of slice or one representation of us. So we should think about how we're leaving information in the world. These are two of my favorite secrets that came in um, during the duration of the installation. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I want to thank uh, my collaborators on this project. And uh, they're listed up here on the screen. Thank you very much.